I'm doing just fine, John. Listen, I don't want to scandalize you because I know you're you're a good guy. You're one of the good ones. But there's something out there uh, called porn. Oh wow! Have wow. you heard of it? Yeah, I think so. All right, do not investigate. Yeah. Okay, I'm no, not doing, not going uh, there. But it's it's causing a lot of waves right now because we're getting more info on the alleged affair between Donald Trump and adult film star Stormy Daniels. It turns out. Back in 2011, Daniels did an interview with uh, In Touch magazine, okay, where she detailed her 20, 2006 affair with Trump as chronicled in the adult film classic Hump Tower. <laughs> and <laughs> Trump can't stop this story. Because the interview was from 2011, before she signed her non-disclosure, and the magazine also verified Daniel's account with two sources at the time and had the actress take a polygraph. Wow! Maybe In Touch magazine should lead the Russia investigation. <laughs> they would get to the root. The affair was a classic Trump meets adult film star tale. She and Trump first met at a golf tournament in Lake Tahoe in 2006, just four months after his youngest son, Barron, was born. Trump asked for Daniel's number and invited her to dinner. That's a classic pickup line. Hey, baby, is what my wife just gave birth to. <laughs> you want to go to dinner? Oh, man. And Shameful. see, the ladies love it. Shameful. Shameful. The ladies love it. And I just saw the picture we're using. That's lovely. And <laughs> Donald pulled out all the stops to make sure their date was romantic. When she arrived, he was wearing sweatpants, and they ended up eating in his hotel room. <laughs> sweatpants. Eating in the bedroom. Even back then, he was preparing for the presidency. <laughs> and... <laughs> and... <laughs> it's an actual story. And brace yourself, folks, because Stormy says Trump also paid her his highest compliment for a lover. He told me I was someone to be reckoned with, beautiful and smart, just like his daughter. <laughs> Have that. Have this notarized and sent to the Smithsonian. <laughs> Quick question Can Child Protective Services take custody of an adult woman? <laughs> and he knew how to get Stormy in the mood. When she came to his room, he showed off a magazine cover featuring himself. I'm sorry, that's how he got himself in the mood. <laughs> As Stormy tells it, she went for a freshen up in the restroom, and quote, when he came out, he was sitting on the bed and he was like, Come here. And I was like, uh, here we go. It's <laughs> exactly what I said when he was taking the oath of office. Oh. Uh, uh, All based on a true story. She also saw a quieter side of Donald Trump. Evidently, he let down his guard and became sheepish. It was almost like he was so taken with me that I could move him around like a puppet. Well, Stormy, now you know how Putin feels. <laughs> and Stormy, very happy, very happy couple. And Stormy clearly has fond memories of the rendezvous, saying, I actually don't even know why I did it. <laughs> that makes seven billion of us. She stormed on, but I do remember while we were having sex, I was like, please don't try to pay me. Oh, Stormy, you don't know Donald Trump at all. <laughs> Not paying people is how he screws them. <laughs> but apparently, <laughs> yay, yay. <laughs> you gotta laugh, you laugh. But apparently Trump needs to make more than America great because she described the sex as textbook generic. <laughs> that textbook, Mating Habits of Elderly Mammals. <laughs> we'll be right back with Ricky Gervais.